Welcome back to the Myothermus Rupert Genome Project. Um, as discussed in the previous video, we've already gone through the introduction with cytochrome C biosynthesis, discussed materials and methods, and gone through results of CCMA and CCMB. Now moving on to CCMC. CCMC is very similar in results to CCMB due to them being alternate subunits of the same transporter. Like CCMB, CCMC is located within the cytoplasmic membrane and contains six transmembrane helices. The common matches and low E values listed in the table confirm that B2199 and MRUB837 are orthologs and that they share the same function. But again, we see here one hit labeling CCMC as a heme transporter, right here the tiger found domain. The others, though, simply link CCMC to cytochrome B biosynthesis, which is the more accurate description given the lack of knowledge about the substrate of the BC complex. The last gene in the studied system is CCMD. The BLAST P for B2198, which codes for CCMD, did not come up with any significant results for M. Ruber. This means that there is no paralog for CCMD within the myothermus rubber genome. This may be due to a deletion of the gene or a number of other factors that resulted in a missing or non-functional CCMD gene in M. rubber. As seen here, CCMD is found embedded in the cytoplasmic membrane and contains only one transmembrane helix. This allows it to move along the membrane if needed and better assist CCMA with the heme transfer to CCME. Additionally, the domains and families with the highest hit for B2198 all link the gene with CCMD, further confirming its function and place in the mechanism for the biosynthesis of cytochrome C. Again, all the E values found are very low, signifying a great fit and a high significance for all matches. An additional note here is that most ABC transporters are importers, bringing substrates into the cell. However, it is clear to see in all the domains and families here that the transporter involved with heme movement is an exporter. And we see, see here, basically every domain has heme exporter in the name. Now, thinking about all of these related genes, You'd expect they might be close to each other within the genome, and that's true. If the consecutive locus tags didn't give it away, on the left is an image taken from EcoPsych of the operon for E. coli. Starting at CCMA, translation will not stop until it has encoded CCMB, CCMC, CCMD, CCME, CCMF, CCMG, and CCMH. Of course, some of these have been cropped out of view just to focus on our important system. But if you can remember from the beginning, all of these genes are involved in the biosynthesis of cytochrome C. We focused only on CCMA through CCMD because those are the components of the ABC transporter system. But we see here that E. coli does contain an operon for our desired genes. To the right side, we see the area surrounding each of our myothermus genes, coding for CCMA, CCMB, and CCMC genes. Each gene is located by the red bar. Now we see that not all three genes are listed in a row here. MRUB680, which codes for CCMA, is by itself and surrounded by unrelated genes. However, MRUB 836 and 837, which code for CCMB and C, are consecutive and are indeed part of their own operon. Looking back, our initial hypothesis was confirmed showing that MRUB 680, 836, and 837 code for the proteins CCMA, 
CCMB, and CCMC, respectively. Additionally, these proteins have orthologs in E. coli that represent the same system, except that E. coli contains an extra protein, CCMD, which is not present in M. rumor. We also just discussed that these genes are all part of a single operon in E. coli, whereas for M. rubber, the genes for CCMB and CCMC are part of an operon, while the locus for CCMA is much farther upstream and separate from the other two proteins within the system. Though the mechanism is still to be fully determined, these proteins, CCMA, CCMB, CCMC, and CCMD, are all part of the ABC transport system linked to the heme cofactor that is an integral part to the biosynthesis of cytochrome C within bacteria. Future research will look into the exact mechanism involved and attempt to research the substrate for the CCMBC complex.